Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome, my name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing a, a chatty get ready with me, just mainly life updates, because so much has happened just like in the last couple of weeks, and it's going to really affect the channel, so I've, I felt like it was good to go ahead and just update you all. I'm going to be doing a really basic look, I actually have a lot to go do later today, I'm filming this at like 8am, um, so I'm kind of just going to do a really basic look. Um, the, the odds are, like, the face makeup I'm probably going to take off before I leave anyway, because I'm going to wear a mask most of today. But, um, if I forget to mention any of the products, I'll do my best, because once I start talking about a topic, I'll just, like, keep going. Um, but if I forget it, I'll just leave it down in the description box. I'm really basically using, um, the, the basic products from my last December, um, everyday makeup basket, so if you want to check that out, I'll also have that up in the cards. Alright, so to start with, I'm going to prime. I'm going to use this Milani Rose Prep and Brighten Face Oil. Um, and it's almost empty. I've been trying to, like, finish it up, and I would like to... It's hard to get the oil at the bottom. I feel like at this point I need to just start pouring it onto my hand. But I like to take a little bit of it and just spread it around. And then first I blend it out with a brush. I'm using the Shop Miss A brush first. And then I go in with my hands. Okay, whew, so where to start, where to start. Um... The first big update is that I, I'm actually moving. Uh, Alvin and I, my boyfriend, we finally, like we've, oh, let me back up a little bit here. We've been trying to find an apartment together for almost two years now. I know, that's kind of bananas, right? Well, it's a combination of living very close to New York City in like the most expensive, I think this is, is New Jersey the most expensive state? It's, it's either the most expensive state to live in or it's one of the most expensive states to live in. So it's trying to find something within our budget, something that is pet friendly, because of course we need to take Rex with us. Um, and he's a chunky little boy, so there were a few apartments where he just was over the weight limit. <laughs> Oops. So it was trying to find a place within our budget, trying to find a pet friendly place, trying to find a place that was close enough to my office. Because once, we, you know, the vaccine comes out, I am going to be expected to go back to working out of my office. I've been working from home full time since March of 2020. Um, and I believe we're going to be working from home until at least July, so at least next summer. Um, but once, I probably, it probably is not going to be until like end of like this time next year, um, probably. But once we have the vaccine and kind of things go back to a new normal, I'm going to be expected to go back to the office. So I had to be close to my office. Um, and then I also had to be close to where Alvin works. So he works in Newark, which is like the biggest city in New Jersey. So I had to be close to there. So we've been looking for ages. And on top of all of that, we also had some like family drama like because we both lived with family and his family really didn't want him to move out they're kind of traditional and he's like the oldest son so he was kind of expected to just stay home until they got married and it's like well we want to live together before we you know get engaged so something's got to give um and something did <laughs> So we didn't get confirmation that we had actually gotten the apartment. So we found this apartment complex back in like October. And so we were looking at it. We were hoping that there would be openings in January because we really wanted to move in January. We thought it would be like the perfect way to start 2021. We had a savings account. We were really trying to budget, but we didn't want to jump into something before we were ready. We wanted to have the time to like get everything together because it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> and that's not even including like the packing. And by the way, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Fast Space Stick Foundation. And I'm just going to use a little bit, not a little bit as I cover my whole face with it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we didn't want to like jump into an apartment before we were ready. So we knew like the perfect time for us was going to be like January or February of 2021. So we found this apartment complex and it was like perfect. It was like the perfect location right in our price range. They, they accepted pets and the pet rent even included into the rent. It was still within our price range, which was nice because there were a few apartments where it was within our price range at first. But then with the pet rent and everything, it was just out of our range, unfortunately. Um, but this place, perfect location, perfect everything, perfect size. And we found it, so like, yeah, we found it in October and we wanted to get a tour and like really look into it. Um, but they were basically full. And so they didn't have their unit that was their typical, like the one they take people for tours in for each size. <laughs> we tried to make an appointment. We didn't end up getting an appointment to do a tour until like right before thanksgiving so it was a bit um we took a tour and it was like the only open unit they had at the time um so the only open unit they had was to move in like at thanksgiving and then after that we kept asking we we're like are you gonna have anything in january and they said oh yeah so we're gonna have three units open in january and we we're like oh hell yes so we tried to jump straight on it but the i think there were some technical issues we kept calling because we were in touch with like the leasing um office and agent and um 
they just kept saying, oh yeah, so the application should be up on the website, you can go check it out, and blah blah blah. And since we had gone on the tour, we've been talking with them, I think we were towards the top of the people that they were gonna really consider, since we showed that we were like, dedicated and really wanted the place. But the application never appeared on the website. So they ended up having to send us a custom quote that we had to go in and then do the application that way. So we got that like on a Friday afternoon right before we were going to leave to go run errands. And so Alvin and I sat down and we were rushing through the application, getting all the paperwork together and everything. So we got that submitted. And then I think we had to wait like a week. Oh, my battery is not going to die. I just changed it. Come on. All right, now that the battery has changed, we can get back into it. <laughs> Where was I? Yes, the application. So we got the application like late on a Friday and we rushed everything. We got it submitted. And at this point, I, I didn't think we were going to get it. You know, it was kind of a long shot. And every other time we had applied for an apartment, we had been like one of like at least like a dozen people <laughs> applying for these apartments because like I said, they're pretty hard to find affordable pet friendly places like here in northern New Jersey. I'm going to use the Dermacol as my under eye concealer, but I'm also going to use it just to spot conceal. Just a couple of small spots. So yeah, but I think because of the fact that we were in contact with the leasing office beforehand and they had to send us that quote, I believe we were the first people to apply to it. So that was definitely a huge bonus for us. And this was like the first week of December. So like a week after we submitted that, it was like, so we submitted it like on a Friday, I think it was Thursday or Friday of the next week when we got like the letters back, they had checked our credit and they basically said, oh yeah, so you're approved. I was so like excited and I couldn't believe that it actually had happened. Um, I wasn't really going to believe it until like we signed the lease and did the deposits and then we're told we could pick up the keys. So that was the next like week and a half of just getting paperwork done. Uh, we had to get a bunch of like checks right and all the kind of boring apartment stuff you got to do. Um, but it was the furthest we had ever gotten with a place and I was just so ecstatic that we actually like got it. <laughs> So we uh, did all that work, we got the, um, we had to get like renter's insurance, we had to get all that stuff together. So we got everything together into a packet. And uh, late last week, we submitted that packet to the leasing office. We had to drop it off in like their little rent box by their office. So we dropped all that off and then we were basically just like waiting with bated breath to like confirm that they have everything because there's like a list of things they need before they'll release the keys. And so I wanted to get that confirmation and get it done as early as possible. So like I knew for a fact that we would be moving on the first. Um, we just got that confirmation a couple of days ago <laughs> and basically uh, the leasing office called and since we're moving literally New Year's Day they can't release the keys that day because it's it, their office is closed it's New Year's Day so they actually had to call us and say oh so can you come in on New Year's Eve instead and like pick up your keys in the morning because no one's gonna be here on New Year's Day when you actually like move in but you can still move in the first you just have to pick up your keys the day before <sighs> I was so happy and excited and now so basically from then we have three weeks to clean, declutter, pack, get everything ready, do all the shopping, and move. So I'm, that ties into uh, this channel and this room. Uh, as much as I love my little attic cozy hideaway, this is going to be moving and so is my filming setup. So I plan to pre-film and get through the rest of my December uploads. Um, so I believe the last video that will be filmed in this room that you will see will be the New Year's Day. So on my moving day, I'll have a video posted and it'll be my um, 2021 Pan That Palette introduction. So that is going to be so exciting. Um, so for the rest of the month, let me just go ahead and do a quick rundown. So we've got this Get Ready With Me. After this should be Declutter Week because I've already filmed half of my declutters. I know you guys are very excited for that. So we've got Declutter Week coming up and then after that I've got a couple of just other standard um, videos that are going to get posted. Um, and then of course my Pen That Palette finale and my Pen That Palette 2021 intro. And I really, I really want to do moving vlogs. I, I love watching moving vlogs. Those are some of my favorite vlogs to watch. And now this is the first time I've been moved, I've moved since getting really into YouTube. And I really want to do it. So I'm going to try. I've never filmed a moving, I've never, f I've filmed a couple of vlogs before. But moving vlogs, I feel like I can, I know what would be like interesting because I love them so much. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to film that, film my process. I got to pack all my makeup for the first time. I got to go shopping. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do those kind of vlogs. So I also don't know how long it's going to take to film, edit, get those together. So those will just come kind of whenever I guess I get enough footage. Who knows? So that's the big, like, happy, positive news is that I'll be moving. It'll be moving, um 
basically New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Hopefully like a nice start to just 2021, a nice fresh start. Um, so it's gonna be, I'm excited. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's, it's gonna be good. It's also really good that I'm still working from home. Like I said, I still work from home full time. Um, so once we move, I'll have the, basically the living room kind of is gonna be like part of the living room at least. It's gonna be like my little mini office. And once, I don't think I'm gonna do an empty apartment tour. It's literally just a one bedroom apartment. There's not a whole lot of space. <laughs> but once we have it like furnished and decorated and everything, I'll, I can do like a little updated either workspace or my vanity tour or just a full apartment. Cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty tiny. Uh, so like I mentioned, yep, also be working from home. I'll get to spend time with Rex. He'll be, I call, I'm calling him my new coworker <laughs> since he'll be home alone with me all day. Um, so speaking of work, work's actually been going really well. Um, I just, December was a lot busier than like typically it was, but it's because I volunteered for some other things. I'm working on like a task force to help out um, some other parts of the company. And it's been really rewarding and fun, but it's also been a lot of work. So it's been a lot more than I expect for this time of year, because typically like between December and at least early January, it's kind of dead, typically kind of slow. Not a, not a whole lot is happening in my industry around that time. But once we hit like typically the busiest times are back to school. So like August, September, and then not as busy, but like mid to late January. But of course, with the uh, with the COVID still around, it's gonna be a little bit different. So I don't know how January is gonna go, but December has been like super busy. But oh, I forgot to mention, this is actually perfect timing because for the first time, my company is actually offering everyone an extra paid week off, a whole week. How awesome is that? And the week off is between Christmas Eve and New Year's Day. <laughs> so I get that whole week paid off to clean, pack, get everything. Like it's, it's literally, I could not have planned this better. It's perfect. <laughs> it's going to be perfect yeah so back to work it's been going really well being really busy i actually <laughs> funny story um my paycheck for this week i was i check my paycheck every wednesday because i get the you get like the pay stub every wednesday before you get paid so i was checking it and it was a couple hundred dollars more than usual and i was like mm, uh, what happened did i get a promotion that nobody told me about or is this like an oopsie I don't think I mentioned it. So the two powders I used, I just used the Cody Airspun powder for the loose powder. And then I set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Superstay powder. Now that we are nice and ghostly, I'm gonna go in with my custom uh, Pan That Palette face palette for uh, bronzer, contour, and then for blush. I think I'm gonna go in with the purple one. It just looks so pretty. All right, so yeah, so my paycheck was a couple hundred dollars more than usual. And I was like, mm, um, I hope this is real because that would be like we've already budgeted out everything that we're going to need for the apartment but like having an extra couple hundred dollars when moving would be fantastic <laughs> so i asked my manager and i'm like so did did a promotion go through for me or did something happen like is this good news and my manager comes back and she's like oh no i don't see anything for you like uh i don't know basically she had no idea what it was either and i was like oh no i just want to make sure that like this is legit <laughs> you know so i actually had to contact hr and submit an hr ticket to see what the extra money was um so i did that uh what's today so i'm filming this on friday um i submitted that ticket on wednesday and then thursday morning i log in and hr responded to me and hr was like oh yeah by the way you won an award and that's why you have that pay bump at the one time pay bump and it's because you won this award and i was like i won an award <laughs> It's just funny because like literally no one told me or a manager. <laughs> so I have no idea. It still hasn't been announced or I've not been told about it yet. But that means I can keep the money. <laughs> and it means that, uh, I mean, it just getting recognized for the work that I've been doing. Because like I said, I've been kind of volunteering and doing a lot more work outside of like my typical scope. So to get that award and like, it's nice to have an award, you know, but it's also nicer to have an award with like a monetary like little bump. <sighs> So that was such a nice little surprise and I had no idea what it was. We still really don't know what it is, but I won an award. And I have to say the majority of what I just talked about here, like the final apartment steps and everything, most of this all happened like in the last week. So it's just been a whirlwind of just like getting approved. We've got our budget together. We've got a list of things we need to buy for the apartment. We've got a whole Amazon list. We've got a spreadsheet with the rest of the stuff we have to buy and what stores are gonna be buying it from. Um, to be honest, I think like packing my stuff because I'm a neat freak. So my room is typically always clean. My bed is always made. I don't really have that many things outside of like my makeup collection. This is going to be the first time moving my makeup collection. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> so check out my vlogs if you want to see how that goes because I mean, to be honest, I really don't know how it's going to go. But um, oh, let me blend that side out a little bit more. 
So from, I'm not worried about me packing and cleaning because I, I constantly declutter outside of my makeup collection. I'm neat and everything's, I don't think it's going to be a problem. The problem I think is going to be uh, Alvin stuff because Alvin, let's just say he's kind of a hoarder and like his room, he, I don't think he's ever fully cleaned his room. Like you can see part of the floor in his room, but like not the whole thing. So that's actually where I'm going today. In December, I had, before we had that whole week off um, by my company, I took off every Friday just to use up like my vacation time. Um, but now it's extra useful because Alvin has off on Fridays. So we've just been, like last week, we've just been trying to dive into his room and like declutter, go through all his clothes, try to clean and get everything packed. Because it's really his room and his stuff that's going to take up, I think, the majority of our packing time. <laughs> so today we have to run... I think I'm gonna start my first moving vlog today because really we're gonna start shopping um, for the first few things. We need to go to Home Depot and get some boxes. We need to get some tape. Um, and then we're gonna start like, I think we're actually gonna start packing his room today. So I'll start that vlog later today, but that's kind of the majority of what we're doing today. And I'm hoping that between this whole weekend, cause we're gonna do his room today and tomorrow and next weekend, we can get most of his stuff done because what I can wait and pack the rest of my stuff up that whole week that I have off. So I'm not really too worried about my stuff, at least until after Christmas, because I'll have that whole week just to do nothing but clean and pack and everything. But his room, he's still working. He's working through Christmas and New Year's. So it's I'm really just worried about his stuff. For highlighter, I want to bring out an oldie but a goodie. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick. And I'm just going to use the top two rows as a little quick highlight. Okay, so I'm going to hop off camera real quick. I'm going to clean up my lip line and do my brows because brows aren't really the most fun thing to watch. And then we'll be back to do the eyes. Okay, and we are back. So I just did my brows. Typical, same thing I've always been doing for the last couple of months. I did a little bit of the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, cleaned up my lip line, threw on some chapstick, and then I just set my face real quick with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray just to help everything kind of meld together. For eyes, you see, I did not prime my eyes. So typically I do because hooded lids, you see all that? Yeah, they need to be primed. Um, but I'm testing on a new product that was sent to me in PR that <laughs> it says you don't need to prime your eyes. So I've been trying without a primer and it's been actually kind of working. <laughs> this is from Tom Ford. This is the packaging. This was sent to me um, through Influencer. And this is the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color in Golden Peach. So it's like a duo kind of uh, the bottom is a cream eye color that you're supposed to use as your base so that would technically be like your primer but it's tinted and then you open up the top and it's a powder eyeshadow that you're supposed to put like on top of it i've been using this quite often the last couple of weeks and it actually does look really pretty um so far the downsides it's you only get one look out of it it's pretty expensive to get just one look out of it and also it does not appear really well on the lower lash line like it looks really pretty on the lid which you'll see once i do the look but it, it barely shows up in the lower lash line so what i've been doing is going in with other palettes other shades to do a nice colorful lower lash line so today i really wanted to do like a shimmery green one so this is the smoke sessions palette from melt i'm thinking of using one of these two bright shimmers on the lower lash line but we'll see once we get there so typically i just take a flat shader brush and i do these I kind of focus it like on my lid right there. And then when that's all there, I take a fluffy blending brush and just kind of put it in for a little bit of the product. And then I blend out the edges. And I like to take this all the way up to my brow sometimes. Sometimes I take it a little lower just to like diffuse the color. And since we're only using a little bit of product, it does dry like really quickly out here, whereas the lid is still a little tacky, which is how we want it. So from here, you see the lid's still a little bit tacky. We've got that blended out. So I will go in with the brush first and the powder shadow and just pack this all over my lid. So I do it with a brush first and then I'll go in with my finger and just kind of do that and then really pack it in. And sometimes I'll just take this a little bit above my actual lid as well. 
So just like that. So it's a very neutral kind of look, but it was super quick and it does look pretty nice. It looks very light on camera, whereas in person that seems to be like a little bit more color there. But that's it. So let me just do the other eye real quick. All right, so we have both of our lids done. I'm going to go in for the lower lash line now, but let me close this up. Don't want it to dry out on me. Do, do, do. Let me try the lighter shade first for the lower lash line. Okay, so we place it and then I like to blend out. So I like to place the color first with that flat liner and then I like to go in and blend it with a tiny, tiny little fluffy brush and see whether or not I need to add more product. I think I need just a little bit more down here. There, yeah, I like how that looks, it looks cute. So that's for the eye look. I just got a little bit of fallout. Let me just wipe that off. And a little dual fiber brush. Takes it right away. So I think those are really all of my main updates. I mean, it is gonna be a lot. <laughs> so like I said, my videos are gonna be pre-filmed and hopefully continue to post throughout the end of December. But uh, like I said before, the last video you'll see in this cute little attic room will be um, on the first and will be my 2021 pan that palette which I'm super excited about I it's gonna be another challenge for me and it's a brand that I've hit pan in before but it's never one that's been in a pan that palette before and I do like to pick different brands for each year so far my first year was a Marc Jacobs palette my second year was an EBH palette my third year which was this past year 2020 was that Jeffy Star Cosmetics palette and then this year it's gonna be it's gonna be a new one I'm excited. So this is the final look and those are all of my life updates. Quite a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. Uh, let me know down below if you're excited to see moving vlogs. I hope you guys are because I'm really excited to like make them. And if there's anything you want me to show or talk about or really answer any questions in those vlogs, please let me know down below. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm probably going to be posting outside of the vlogs, little updates there as well. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.